This is how you move, lock, and view layers in Adobe Illustrator. So sometimes you wanna shift your layers, sometimes you wanna keep them from moving or so that you don't edit artwork on them, and sometimes you wanna hide them or show them so that you can view them. So what we're gonna do is, let's say we have multiple layers on our artboard. We can put some objects on there using the rectangle tool in our tools panel. And let's say we don't like, let's, let's change the color on some of these. So that we can see the differences between some of these objects. Now let's say we want to actually take all the objects that are on this layer but we don't want them to be on top because right now, if we were to move these, you'll notice they're on top of everything. So let's say we want them under the other colors. We would click the layer in our layers panel that has these objects in them, and we would drag that below the layer we want it underneath. And when we do that, you'll notice this layer has now moved. Now let's say now that this is moved, we don't want to be able to edit any of the artwork that's on the layer that's on top. So we want to lock that artwork. So the way we do that is in our layers panel next to the eye icon, you'll notice there's a little square and it's empty as of current. But if you click that, a little lock appears. That means that any of the artwork that is on that layer, you cannot move. Like nothing's going to happen to it. So we'll only select artwork that's above or below that so that's how you lock that artwork. Now, if you want to show or hide artwork, the eye icon is just what you think is for the visibility of the actual artwork itself. So let's say we want to hide the art that's on top. We would head over to our layers panel, look for our little eye icon, and we'd click it. And when you do that, it removes the artwork from the artboard and if you click it again, it brings it back. So, here we go, we can remove that. We can add it back. This is how you move, lock, and view items in Adobe Illustrator.